Hi everyone. So Unity just released their Book of the Dead demo again for uh, Unity 22.2 in HDRP uh, 14 and it is looking absolutely uh, beautiful. In uh, this video I want to show you how you can convert these assets to the vegetation engine using the automatic presets because we don't have any uh, specially created uh, presets uh, for this project. Uh, after the conversion is done, I want to uh, transform this uh, environment to uh, a snowy environment. And this won't be a tutorial per se, but more like a walkthrough. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so let's jump to Unity because I'm not really good at uh, making these intros. All right, uh, so for this video, I'm using TV 8.6 which is uh, still in production and I hope nothing will uh, break in the process. And I will start the conversion uh, with this fern. Uh, first, let's go to this fern and uh, check the shader. Uh, if you check the shader, you will see that it is quite close to the HDRP lead shader. And it is using a base color map, a normal map, a mask map and a thickness map. We will use uh, this thickness map as a subsurface mask because in TV we use uh, subsurface masks and we will use this thickness map but inverted. Uh, I will uh, simply open the converter, uh, choose the automatic uh, plans presets preset and in TV 8.6 you can now choose if you want to share the common materials materials uh, which was not available before. I will just choose to share the common materials and simply hit convert. What you will notice that the uh, shading is a bit off. Uh, that's because uh, TV is getting all the maps, is uh, packing the texture, is uh, getting that uh, thickness map and uh, uh, pack it to the blue channel. Uh, but it is not uh, getting the diffusion profile because uh, in the original shader, the diffusion profile internally is named differently uh, compared to the HDRP lead shader, so TV is not getting it, but uh, we can go and assign it uh, manually. I will choose the foliage uh, diffusion profile and now that uh, nice specularity is uh, back. I will open the uh, material manager and uh, tweak the wind a bit. All right, we go to the motion settings. I will add some more squash, some more uh, rolling and uh, some uh, variation. Let's see how this uh, looks with uh, strong wind. Maybe it is a bit too much. Okay, something like this some more flutter and it is looking quite uh, good all right let's go to the uh, grass prefabs and convert them i will simply just select a bunch of them and uh, hopefully i will uh, detect uh, all the the prefabs We'll open the converter again and for this one I will choose the automatic uh, grass uh, preset and I'm pretty sure uh, these prefabs are all using the same material so I will choose to share the common materials and hit convert. Okay and uh, because the first one is converted the second one uh, will find the converted materials and if it will ask if you want to keep the converted materials or not. I will keep the uh, converted materials. All right, we can see that uh, you can see this uh, small icon uh, showing you that uh, these prefabs are all using uh, shared materials. If you want to make them unique, uh, you can select uh, one of the prefabs, convert again, 
uh, but with share materials, share common materials disabled. Actually, let me show you. I will uh, disable the share common materials, convert this one, and uh, now this one is not using shared materials. It is unique. You can change the colors without affecting uh, the other prefabs. And now if I uh, select uh, a few of them, you will see that uh, this one is not using shared materials, but I want to, to use the shared materials. So I uh, will select it again, uh, share the common materials and convert again. And I will uh, choose to keep the converted materials uh, which are used for all the, the uh, prefabs. So keep converted materials. And now uh, this is now using shared materials. Ooh. All right, what I want to uh, do again is to uh, go and uh, reassign the diffusion profile. Okay. And what I want to do is to reduce the alpha threshold a bit uh, to make the grass a bit more fluffier. Okay, this is looking quite good. Maybe to add a bit of uh, occlusion color. Alright, because I think it, it was quite bright. Alright, uh, let's go uh, to one of the trees and uh, the nice part about uh, the book of the dead assets is that uh, they baked some per branch uh, variation and pivots and uh, the entire branch is moving quite nicely because of that i tried to get that information uh, to bake it in tve but for some reason uh, uh, to this point, I didn't manage to do it. I should ask on the Book of the Dead forum uh, how they managed to, to transfer that information. Uh, and maybe we will have a preset uh, for TV to transfer that uh, information properly. But for now, I will just uh, use some uh, procedural masks uh, for the wind. Uh, I will open the converter, uh, choose the automatic... Uh, Three or conifer. Uh, let's go with uh, with three. And uh, what I noticed is that uh, if you go to the materials, they have a flutter mask, which we can use in TV uh, for the uh, leaves uh, flutter animation. And if you go to the advanced settings, uh, you will see that we have a uh, flutter mask source. You can choose a texture. And I will choose this flutter mask texture and hit convert. I think I uh, converted this uh, tree previously for testing. And now uh, it is asking if I want to keep the converted materials. I will not keep them. I will uh, replace them because I have no idea what I did uh, previously in there. Um, and I will uh, tweak the motion settings a bit. Maybe some more bending. All right. Some uh, more squash animation. I will add some variation, even if the branches will break a bit, it is uh, not that visible. Maybe I shouldn't, but uh, for the purpose of this uh, tutorial only. And some more flutter. Let's see how this looks. Quite fluttery. Maybe I will reduce the motion scale a bit to two and add some rolling. All right. And back the flutter. And in strong wind, it is looking uh, quite good. All right, let's go and convert some of the uh, props. Uh, what I noticed uh, while checking this asset is that some of the props are using 
an object space normal map. Uh, this one, for instance, is using a uh, tangent space normal map, which is the default normal map uh, we usually use. And some of them, maybe I will find one today. Ah, here it is. Uh, some of them are using object space uh, normal maps. In TV 8.6, uh, the converter can now convert uh, object space normal maps to tangent space uh, to be usable in uh, TV, or it can convert from uh, tangent space to object space if you want to use it uh, outside TV. Uh, and I will go select a few of them. All right, got the converter. I will choose the automatic uh, props preset and simply hit convert. Uh, these are now converted. And if we go uh, to those uh, uh, materials again, you will see that uh, if I find it again, that one with the object space normal map is now uh, baked and uh, using an object space uh, normal map instead of that uh, actually tangent space normal map instead of the object space normal map. Okay, let me open the scene debugger to see what is converted and uh, what not because with props is quite hard to to see which one is converted. If you open the uh, scene debugger from uh, window boxophobic TV uh, scene debugger, it is showing the converted assets uh, in yellow and the non-converted one in uh, gray. I will not go ahead and convert everything, but I will convert uh, some of these uh, rocks over here with the automatic uh, props again. All right, and uh, what I want to do uh, is to convert this big rock and add some moss because it is quite clean and uh, it would be a nice transition between uh, the small rocks uh, with uh, the with moss on them and uh, this bigger rock uh, because uh, these logs are uh, also uh, having some of the moss. So I will add some moss on this uh, big rock. We'll uh, select it, convert it as a uh, prop again. All right. And uh, on the material, I will open the detail mode and will set it to on. And uh, for the detail uh, albedo, I will choose. Uh, I have a mouse included in TV. Let me search it real quick. And the mouse and the mask and add the mouse normal map. Uh, I will increase the, the UVs a bit, maybe five. All right, it is looking good. And I want to uh, set the vertex, the detail vertex mask to projection because I want to be projected from the top. Uh, and for the detail mask, I will use the, uh, the blue channel from the detail mask, uh, which has some uh, finer uh, noise. I will use that one and tweak the uh, blending remap. Okay, maybe something like this and maybe 
uh, tweak the color a bit uh, because this one is a bit uh, greener. Okay, something like this, and to make it a bit uh, smoother. Okay, not such a big difference, but uh, I think they are not, uh, they are uh, a bit more blended uh, than before. Maybe tweak the color a bit more. All right, I think uh, I will stop with the conversions, maybe just this one quickly. All right, and now what I want to do is to uh, add some uh, snow on the environment. All right. And to do that, I am going to the uh, global control and enable the overlay. With the overlay enabled, uh, I need to tweak the uh, how much snow is applied on the props. And uh, I will open the material manager, select them one by one, and tweak the global settings, the uh, overlay. Uh, the global overlay and I will reduce it a bit maybe increase the projection uh, the overlay projection is controlling uh, how much the projection mask uh, is applied actually how much uh, snow do you uh, have of the on the uh, side parts of the objects Okay, these are quite white. We'll just reduce them and increase the uh, projection. Okay, something like this maybe. All right, let's see it in full screen. And I think it is uh, looking quite good. Uh, for this tree, I need to tweak the, the overlay parameters a bit. Uh, let's see what is going on. Uh, I will decrease the overlay variation. I will decrease the overlay projection to add more snow, more snow on the entire uh, tree. And I think it is looking uh, quite nice. Okay. And now let's hit play and uh, see how they look. Yeah, so uh, ideally we should uh, convert all the assets, but uh, for the purpose uh, of this video, uh, I think everything went uh, quite well. So I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this video and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.